Hi, I'm Hadass, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you how you can easily customize your Canva presentations. Who says it has to be complicated? Now let's go ahead and see how easy it is to customize your presentation. Let's start with opening a presentation template. Or create a design and go straight ahead to presentation. Now let's use Canva's templates to experiment with how easy it is to customize them with only a few clicks. So let's say for example that I really really like these kind of templates where I have nice images, elements, I like the text, I like the layouts, but the colors don't match my brand colors and I need some more diversity in the slides. So let's say that this first slide looks great and I would like to add my second slide. I can apply all 13 pages by clicking here or I can just click on any other slide I want. So let's say, let's add a page and say that this one could be good and I like also these kind of elements. Let's add another page and let's say that this kind of data is something that I would definitely use in my presentation. Now these are only four pages and this is definitely not enough. So what I can do is just click on this little arrow, go back to the template library. What I can do is just look for other templates that have a similar visual identity. There is this nice template, very colorful. I also like these elements. So let's add another page and say that I would also like to use something like this. And let's go and find some more. So as you can see, I can play around with many different templates and just mix and match the slides. Let's look here and add another page and say that, for example, I really like this one. Let's take this one. Now, let's go ahead and see this grid view. I have seven slides in my presentations, very colorful, but do not match my brand identity. Not the colors, not the fonts. So let's see how we can customize this in just a few clicks. Let's close this window and I'll scroll back to my first slide. I will click down here to show pages as thumbnails at the bottom of the screen. That'll be easier for me to control now all my adjustments. So let's start with color. I can click on this background and let's say that my brand colors are black, yellow and white. I can go up here to the color menu and let's change my background to yellow. When you scroll down here in the color menu, you can see that you can change all red to yellow. Let's do that. Now everything that was red will change to yellow. Now I want to change this blue to let's say black. So I'll go to the color palette, click on black and then change all blue to black. Let's see what happened on the other slides. Within just one click, I have been able to create within these three slides my brand identity when it comes to color, but this is not enough. Now the reason the colors have not changed here is because this is not a background color, but as you can see, these are individual elements. So let's go ahead and change the colors. This would be black, this would be white. This perhaps would be black as well. Now let's go to these slides and do the same with the background. So the background is gray. Let's change it all to yellow and change all gray to yellow. Click here and have it all changed. So to change all these, as you can see, I need to click on each one individually, but you don't really have to. You can just go outside, click on your mouse and just give them a big hug. Have them all framed together. Go up here to the blue color palette and click on black. Boom. Okay, so we have the background color covered and we also have our elements. Let's go ahead and quickly do this. Make your adjustments. Okay, now as you can see, we have an issue with our text color, but no worries, this can be fixed within one click. Change all blue to black. Okay, or perhaps we should do this white. Let's change this to white as well. And now let's go ahead and see what we can do with our text. 
So we can click on our text box and then just go to the color palette up here under the capital A. And let's say that we want this all black. Go down here, change all gray to black. And then you see that you have it all black here. Now you'll have to make a few minor adjustments. This is not very visual. So let's just manually change this to white. So I can easily change these numbers to any color that would serve my visual identity. Now what we want to do is to change all the text colors. So let's click on this text. I'll just ungroup this. And let's say that I want these pink text to be changed to black. The reason I don't have change all down here is because it was the only one that was assigned the specific pink. As you can see, these are different pink and purple. So let's just go to the next text box, click on black, and then you see you have change all white to black, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. If I'll go to this purple step number two, let me ungroup this. I'll go here and change this to white. I don't have any other options. It was the only purple text. So I'll quickly do this manually. And now when I go to here and I have this gray text, let's change that to white. I do have the option to change all black to white, which is kind of a very dark gray, not exactly black. Let's change it all and there we go. So I have everything customized to my brand colors. And now I want to show you how you can easily copy and paste your effects with just one click. So let's say I want to change all my text effects within one click. Let's see what I can do. I'll just click on this number. And if I want to highlight it, I can just use the text effects. So let's go and see which effect I want to use. Let's say for example, the lift style. So instead of going to each text box and giving it its own effect, I can just go to the copy style brush and as you can see, it is white. Once I click on that, it'll turn to black, which means it has copied the last style I've clicked on. So I'll take my brush and click on the next text box. And there you go, you have the same style effect. Let's do that again. Click and click once more on your third text box. So I can do this on every single text box. Just be aware that when you do that, it copies all the styles, not just the effects, but also the font size, the font color, everything. So if, for example, I'll use this copy style brush here. Hmm. So one second before we start putting in our own information, let's go and see if all our colors are spot on. So you'll see that on this second slide, I have this text here that has turned into black. When you click on change all, just bear in mind that it changes all your text. So sometimes something can go missing just like this one. So always go back and check yourself. So I'll just change this to white and I will continue. So this looks fine and this looks fine. And let's change this blue to white. We missed that or black even. And here it happened again. So remember when we changed all our white text to black, it also changed these. So let's just do this really quickly. Change this to white. Now I will not click on change all because it will change all my black text to white. Even these on my first and second slide. So for this matter, I'll just use the copy style and click. Click the copy style and click on your text. And this will also duplicate the font, the size, everything you have. Let's change these text, all these blue text boxes to white. So now all you have to do is just walk through your slides, see that everything is fine, looks good, all your colors are in place. And there you go, you have a fresh start with a customized presentation of your own. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that presentations will now be just a walk in the park. Bye for now.